Israel says it won't warn the U.S. if it decides to launch a strike on Iranian nuclear facilities. Israel, which believes Tehran is a threat, has been ramping up belligerent rhetoric in recent weeks, despite warnings from Washington. But, as our teaser reading Galushka reports, other, more immediate threats may be dangerously overlooked. Love thy neighbors, as the biblical saying goes. But in the case of Israel, there is not much love lost between the Jewish state and the countries closest to it. While authorities in Jerusalem aim fierce and fire accusations at Iran, some wonder if in their anti tehran frenzy they may have overlooked other troubles brewing much closer to home. Today, there is a certain semi-euphoria in Israel because there is no hostile activity. There is no terror activity other than Hamas sometimes around the Gaza Strip. In fact, the Palestinian conflict has long been a source of problems for the Israeli government. But recently, it seems, the issue has all but been forgotten. Some believe this blinkered approach may end up having dire and explosive consequences for Israel. With the rise of the Islamist tendencies in the wake of the Arab Spring, states which until now have been tacitly benevolent towards Israel may do a turnaround. In fact, such changes are already evident in Egypt. The Muslim Brotherhood, which holds the majority of seats in the parliament, has already threatened to break peace accord with Israel as a response to pressure from the U.S. to end the NGO crackdowns. And some believe the relations with Egypt may get even worse. Egypt will undergo tremendous changes. Egypt will stand behind Hamas. One day Hamas may attack Israel as it did in December of uh, 2008. Uh, the question is, how would Egypt react to such a conflict? That, I think, is an imminent threat. Iran is not an imminent threat. What could also be an imminent threat, some believe, is the situation in Syria, which seems to go from bad to worse with every passing day. The uh, loss of control by the central regime in Damascus means uh, the emergence or the appearance or the presence of terrorist groups that may operate against Israel. Meanwhile, Israel's most placid neighbor, Jordan, may seem to be a bedrock of stability, but experts say that isn't so. It is uh, Israel's immediate neighbor to the east. It's a country that Israel has a uh, peace relationship with. It also has the longest border with. And I think it is most uh, vulnerable to uh, dis destabilizing influences from almost everywhere else. Spill over from Syria, spill over from Iraq. There are very serious problems in Jordan. One look at the map is enough to show that Israel's position in the region could be described as potentially problematic at best. However, Israeli authorities seem to be less concerned with reinforcing good relations with neighbors or preparing for those relations to worsen. Instead, they obstinately continue to confront Iran with the war of words for now. In Tel Aviv, Irina Galushko, RT.